shop until you almost drop. Retail sales have been a pretty mixed bag for the fourth quarter. During the holidays, we've had a lot of winners, a lot of losers as well. Here to talk about it again on the CNN Money Side, Howard Lindzen. Hope you're uh, braving the cold well. I know yeah. the West Coast, it's usually not this frigid out there. It's, uh, go- it's uh, gorgeous there, really tough here. The, the interesting thing about, obviously, sales is the, the, the amazing growth in the very, very luxurious brands. It seems like the, the wealthy people have sucked up the loss and have said, you know what, if we're going to buy stuff, we're going to buy stuff that will last 20 years and overpay right. for it. So mm-hmm. the super luxury brands are doing well. Yeah, Tiffany's doing really well. I mean, Nordstrom and Coach, right? Yeah, so anything with super high luxury and even dribbling down into the regular luxury, just timeless brands are doing better than the lower end brands. Right. I mean, what would you say? I mean, when you look at uh, some of these stocks, I mean, there's a, a company, uh, Zale, ZLC. They've been struggling for a long time, but their uh, same store sales in December were pretty strong, and that lifted the stock uh, very sharply earlier this week. Uh, Signet, the parent of uh, Kay and Jared, which between the two of them have the cheesiest commercials. He went to Jared, or Every Kiss Begins with Kay. Every Kiss Begins with Kay. You gotta love how schmaltzy they are. All these companies are doing well, and they're not necessarily as high end as, as Tiffany, obviously. Well, you know, again, I don't follow the low end. It seems obvious if you just take a step back and you look at the demographic trends and the way people are spending money that that the Blue Nile, mm-hmm, the sells online diamonds joint, yep. online, has just totally disrupted the low end. Right. Maybe you're gonna spend seventy to a hundred thousand dollars on a three or four carat ring, and maybe it's less now, diamonds mm-hmm. have held their value, then you're gonna go Inter- interact with the, for, for better, lack of a better term, with someone at the higher end. Right. But the Zale side of it, Blue Nile is just killing that person that can look online, price compare, exactly. and just buy a diamond. Right. All right. Looking at some of the other uh, areas of, uh, of retail that we would consider winners, uh, Lulu is such a hot momentum stock. Namaste, yoga. It's just phenomenal. I mean, is this uh, a sustainable trend or, uh, you know? Yeah, I mean, I own it, mm-hmm. so I'm biased. I've been talking about it since the 40s and stock twits is very bullish on the stock right. on the stream. Uh, I think what we love about it, again, it's momentum right now. The stock was four. It's now in the 70s. Yep. Um, so it's definitely a, not a stock for the faint of heart anymore. Um, but <clears throat> people are spending so much time in the stores mm-hmm. and that just leads to sales. Just like Apple's retail model, which is hard to value, People just, you go buy an Apple store and people are just sitting in there. Exactly. And they're not buying Microsoft products while they're in there. They're buying Apple products. So at Lulu, which I generally call the Facebook of ladies' uh, uh, pants, let's right. call them, uh, have got this loyal, loyal women's audience. Mm-hmm. And they do, you know, it's a, it's a lifestyle. To wrap up, let's uh, talk about some of the losers in uh, in retail. Obviously, not every retailer uh, had a strong uh, fourth quarter, uh, you know, Best Buy is one that clearly comes to mind that, uh, you know, obviously people are still buying gadgets. They may not be buying them, though, as much at Best Buy. Maybe it's a combination of Apple, as you mentioned, Amazon. Uh, you know, we already saw the demise of Circuit City. I don't think anyone's expecting Best Buy to go that route, but there's been speculation about them maybe being an LBO target now. I mean, would you be wary of Best Buy, or uh, do you yeah, think I've there's an opportunity? I've always been wary of Best Buy. It's more of a financing company than anything, and you have the shift towards cell phones mm-hmm. being the computer, and there's so many models, etc. and Verizon selling phones, and AT&T stores are right. selling phones, and even you know little mall units in the middle of the mall have phones. So so with Best Buy, you know, they're relying on games. They used to go to Best Buy to get a washing machine, all your college stuff. And I'm not saying you can't do that, but there's Walmart and Target now mm-hmm. to do that at the fringe. So Best Buy is just getting squeezed by many angles. Right. And you see they have vending machines. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, really, Best Buy, like Coinstar, could end up just being a vending machine company. And what do right. you do with all that retail space? Yeah. So, again, I expect something bad to happen there in the end. I don't know when. Oh, it's not a matter of if. It's just a matter of when, when that becomes a restructure or a leverage bio. Right. So it's not for the typical consumer, I don't think.